I believe every young man, his first hero, his first inspiration, his first motivation is his dad. Like we look to our dads and we see the hero. We see who we want to be like when we grow up. My dad is from Montego Bay, Jamaica, which another name for Montego Bay is the second city. And my father played a huge role in my life due to his absence. Where I come from in my community, it's, it's way too occurring that fathers are absent. So we grow up looking at, you know, the dope boy on the corner or, you know, the basketball player on the TV or the rappers on the TV. We look for identity in that. We, we see that and we're like, man, that's what we want to be like when we grow up. To me, it's a misrepresentation. With me, I was 18, 19 years old. My dad wasn't there and I was looking for identity, looking for purpose. I was literally at a standstill and I feel like that occurs with young men who don't have fathers. And so when I met God, it was just like I found that identity, I found that purpose. I found what I was supposed to do. I found that missing piece. And so with music the way it is today, everything, you know, gets ciphered through so quick. It's just like, man, let's pump new music out, you know, all year. So we decided to break it up into a series part to really tell a story and give people a journey through. So we decided to take this concept of the second city as a representation and an ode to my past, you know, representing the new hope, the new redemption I found in Jesus. Not hard to relate. Now hard to relate when you come from a place that's filled with nothing but hatred. What's up, Engine fam? It's your boy, Stephen Malcolm. Thank you for tuning in to Engine's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And for any exclusive that you want, that way, click that. Thank you for watching. Stephen Malcolm. Peace. Really the truth is, we all have a truth is. All of a nuisance, don't know what truth is. Chuck up the deuces, yeah.